three dollars. Fourteen ninety nine. Ten dollars. Twelve forty nine. Fifteen dollars. Six hundred <laughs> to a thousand. <laughs> okay, so right off the bat, for every YouTube video that is titled "This is how you can make more money," it's instantly a scam to get people to sign up for a program. But all you have to do is click the link below, sign up for my five-day course. I'm just with you. So what I'm about to show you guys in this video is one of the most easiest ways most easiest that Joe and I personally make a little bit more pocket cash every week. Huh? Did I say something wrong? <laughs> <laughs> but more specifically, I'm going to take you guys kind of step by step how Joe and I turn $32 into $893 in an hour and 15 minutes. That's an intro. But let me first start off with a mini disclosure. I am not guaranteeing anybody to make $800 in an hour. I'm not even guaranteeing you to make $20. You have to be smart with this tactic I'm gonna show you. This is entirely on you and 100% based on how much time you wanna put into it and how much work you wanna put into it. But enough intro talk. Let's talk about what you have to do. All you're doing is flipping products. You have to find a very inexpensive place to go, whether that's a Goodwill, a flea market, a garage sale, anything that's selling products at a low price that you can then flip for a higher price. Because if you think about it, if you buy something for 50 cents and you flip it for $9, you just made $8.50. And if you do that like seven times in 30 minutes, you're gonna make like 50 to $60. But does it actually work? Joe and I are proof that it actually works. Right, Joe? For example, before we start, Joe just bought a ring for $2 last week at the flea market and he just sold it on eBay for $22. He made $20, took him a week, but if you think about it, he's putting products like that up every day and he's doing stuff like that week by week. So the objective is obviously find a cheaper or inexpensive product and understand the ability to be able to flip it at a higher price and make a profit on that. These are perfect condition Skechers on the go boots for $7. They sell for $74.99 and they're in perfect condition. Cop me. This is how you make a hundred to two thousand dollars. And it's all based on how much work you actually want to put in. Like these cups, these are 50 cents. They have packages of them. You can talk them down to 25 cents. All of these are a dollar. You buy them for a dollar, flip them for five, make four dollars on it. Do that six times and you have gas money. I don't know, it's just simple stuff. $15 mug, selling here at Goodwill for 50 cents, another 14.50 profit. There's three of these here selling at $8 and they're originally $25. $13 times three. That's a $39 profit. People that work minimum wage in Ohio make $8.10. If they work four hours, that's still $32.40 and you still make $7 more just flipping three of those. Found us a Pierre Cardin suit jacket for $5. And can flip around $600 to 1000 <laughs> It's probably a knockoff, but oh, shit. Which, by the way, we later found out that it's not a knockoff and it's actually worth $375. It's a Louis Vuitton bag that we bought for $3. And it's worth $375. That's a $372 profit. So all the items that have yellow tags on them, which is like the majority of the items, are 50% off. So the mugs that we're buying for 50 cents are now 25 cents, and the jacket that he just bought for $5 is 250. And we just bought a crazy expensive pool stick for $10 that it has a yellow tag, so it's $5. Hey. <laughs> Chipotle is the best decision anyone can ever make. All right, so there's two things you're probably thinking right now. One, what if I don't have money to go out and buy stuff, whether that's five or ten dollars, or even maybe fifty cent mug? Well, I'm gonna play you a clip, and then try and tell me that. Even if you don't have money to flip stuff and like go buy stuff, I just found this little wooden step stool that I'm gonna put on let go for five dollars. It's literally right next to this dumpster, and I'm gonna sell it. Probably shouldn't have touched it, regretting that. Are we taking my car? Another question you might have is, 
how and where do I sell them? So there's two apps called Let Go and Offer Up, and they literally let you post a picture and put it online. And people will message you throughout the throughout the day. Joe, how many messages do you get on Let Go and Offer Up every day? And how many products do you typically post? I get between five and thirteen messages on Offer Up and Let Go. And what was the second question? How many products do you post? Uh, I post between two to seven. Right, so not that many, but a lot of messages for something that way. The key is, do not describe the product and why they need to buy it. Describe the value and what they could use it for. Bing. That's the other way. That's the how to sell part. And then I also recommend eBay. eBay is a huge hitter for us. Now, eBay will only let you post like five or six or so posts a month. The good news is a lot of stuff on eBay sells really fast if you sell it at the right price and market. Another tip is don't just take the retail price and go with that. Joe and I bought those mugs for 25 cents. We're not gonna sell them for the 12.50 that they're listed as the typical price. We might sell them at like $9 so ours go quicker. All right, I wanna show you guys one thing. Let's say you buy like 10 of those 25 cent mugs. That's 10 times 25 cents. That's gonna be $2.50, right? 10 mugs. Let's say every single one of those mugs is worth, let's say you sell every single one of those mugs for $7. That's 10 times seven, that's $70 right there. And you only spent $2.50. So what I'm trying to say is, you can go and buy something for $2.50 and sell it in like two weeks and make $70 off of it. And Joe always oh. says this a lot, $70 is a lot of money when you need it. True. <laughs> Okay, so you guys just saw the time lapse of Joe and I looking at all of the stuff that we bought and trying to figure out what our profit margins were. And I'm not gonna show that to you guys here because I want people that genuinely like this video, reach out to me and ask for more advice on this because we would love to help you guys out. And um, personally, I think I might do some sort of like mini free course to like show you a good way to go about buying certain products and how to put them online. If you're at Goodwill, if you're at Flea Market or whatever, take a picture of the product or whatever and send it to us, Instagram or whatever, and we'll let you know if the profit margins are good or whatever. Uh, make sure you start small though. Don't go and buy something that's $70 and expect it to sell it the next day for like $140. It's not a good route to go down. Start small with like the mugs or something like that, Christmas mugs that are 25 cents and try and sell it for like $7 and do three of them and then make like $16. It's super simple if you do it right. I hope this video helped. If you go out and flip stuff after watching this video, please DM me how much you made in the last like week or two weeks or whatever. I really wanna know if this helped people out. I'm super interested. Yeah, thanks for watching and um, if you have any questions about how to do this stuff in particular, please, please, please message me or Joe. We would love to help you guys out. I don't want this video to seem like you're gonna go and make $700 tomorrow. It's not that simple. But if you buy the right thing and you put it up at the right time, it can be that simple. Go play your cards right. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.